Hello, and welcome back to Stupid Science and Pseudoscience, a podcast where we explore all things strange scientific. I'm your, co- I'm your host, Kylie. Today, we'll be discussing can radioactive bugs bug superpowers with our expert, William. Joining us today are Gia and Landon as well. What do you two already know about, about radioactive bugs? Landon, you can start. When Spider Man was out in the city, he went into a tunnel where graffiti was, and when he was looking through the wall, a radioactive bug bit him. A radioactive bug bit him in the leg. And then he turned into Spider Man, and then he could walk on buildings, fly around, and become Spider Man. Okay, William, could you tell us some about your research? Um, basically, what radioactive bugs are and what they can do? So basically, radioactive bugs are bugs that produce to like chemicals that like modify their DNA. And if they were to bite you, it wouldn't really do anything. But if it were to do something, it'd be a negative effect, like losing a limb. That makes sense because the radioactiveness would, but if the bug was likely uh, change the chemical pattern of their ven- of their venom to become more toxic. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, are, is there any evidence that radioactive bugs that could give you superpowers exist? I mean, like Landon said, Spider-Man, Ant-Man, but that's all fictional. Yeah, that's fictional. Um, but have there been any, any scientific studies that could prove that they could be real? During, like, the Chernobyl accident? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Tons of bugs got like chemically modified, right? And scientists said that like only a couple of them could like give people like not superpowers, but superpowers in a sense. Okay. Um. Whenever you say superpowers in a sense, what exactly does that mean? I can't imagine radioactive. I can't imagine radioactive bugs would have much of a positive effect. Um, really the only positive effect I imagine that they could possibly have on, when I say positive, I use that very lightly. Um, not so negative. The effect that they could have is an extra limb. That's... Yeah, like the bugs in the Chernobyl accident were stuck in a nuclear generator for like a couple, I think a month or something, and they got like really modified like some of them had like some of the bugs in the Chernobyl accident had like four antenna four antennas and like ten legs or something mm-hmm. and also their um like offspring also was genetically modified too it that, just never went away kind of right that makes sense because um kind of like just evolution um whenever a gen- genetic modification appears it's quite hard to get rid of. Um, so that makes sense. Um, what did the bug's lifespan look like? Um, did they die quite quickly after this? I honestly don't know. Okay. I think they died quicker. That makes sense. Because it was a, like, a natural change to their DNA. Mm-hmm, yep. Um, did the bugs ever bite somebody? Like, and if they did, what happened? I didn't find anything about them biting, about them biting anybody. Okay. But I feel like if they were to, it wouldn't do anything because it's like a bug with minor changes to its DNA. So it wouldn't do anything to a human. Okay. Um, what if their venom was more? Then it could do something to the human. It could make, like, the venom more deadly or something. What do you guys think could, by chance, happen if a bug was radioactively affected and its venom did change? The information William just gave us. What What do you guys think could happen? Um, I think if a radioactive bug were by somebody, um, they might be chemically poisoned from the radioactive chemicals that were put into their 
venom DM it, DNA DM it, DNA or whatever happened when they got injected with that. Thank you, Landon. Gia, what do you what do you think could happen if this did happen? It could possibly really hurt someone. They could put venom in their DNA. Which would do what? Hmm. Okay. Dead. Yep, it could. We know, we're all pretty sure that there could very easily be negative effects, um, deadly effects, but do we think that there could possibly be a chance that this could give someone superhuman abilities? Uh, yeah, I think there could be a chance that they could get superpowers, but it's very unlikely for them to get superpowers from a radioactive bug. Right. Okay. Gia, do you think that there could possibly be a chance that there could be superhero, superhuman, superhero, superhuman side effects? Maybe, but most likely not. Okay, William. So I feel like there could be, but only if like scientists were to be in a controlled environment and inject the radioactive stuff into the bugs, just a certain amount and then like make them bite people, then maybe. Okay, and there are, I believe that there are different types of radioactive material. The venom for bees has been used, like they're trying to see if it can cure cancer and it's kind and it's been working actually. And venom uh, is used in lots of medicines. Mm -hmm. um, so if, uh, if modified venom could bring those changes, that'd be an interesting experiment. Mm -hmm. And very random fun fact, we don't even have to keep this on the podcast, but do you, did you guys know that uh, the reason you're told not uh, the reason you're told not to sit too close to the TV is because in the 60s TVs were actually ra let off radioactive waves, and the and that could be extremely damaging. So that was fun. How do you we, move my cl couch cl closer to the TV? It can be Spider Man. Uh, no, not anymore. Only in the 60s. Uh. TV. You do not need a 60s TV. Yeah, you do not we need we a don't want to be 60s TV. <laughs> okay. Um. Thank you for that information, William, and thank you for that. Uh, your guys' opinion, um, Landon and Gia. What do you guys think about um, the possibility of bugs giving people people superpowers? I don't think it's possible, and if it is, it'd probably be a negative effect. Okay, Landon. I think it's positive. Positive because. There's not really a lot of cures to, like, cure them from getting, helping them from not getting bit by those radioactive, radioactive bugs. But I think if they were to get bit by those radioactive bugs, there would be some kind of mm, positive thing to be getting bit by one of them. Okay. Gia? I don't think it's possible. Okay. Thank you for bringing us all this information, William. I have definitely learned, learned some new things that I didn't know before, including um, that that in Chernobyl bugs were in a radio were in a nuclear generator for a month, and that they had were genetically modified. Audience, what do you think? Could radioactive bugs really give you superpowers? Until next time, I'm Kylie. Sorry, remember question everything. Thank you for listening to Stupid Science and Pseudoscience, a podcast in collaboration with Connie at Lake Middle School in Pennsylvania. This week's expert was William. Our host was Kylie. Additional discussion was provided by Gia and our technical advisor is Miss Ellis. For more information on today's topic or to listen to the next episode, visit our website at tinyurl.com slash clms podcast. Again, that's tinyurl.com slash clms podcast. Have a weird day.